have information over there at intermission time. Maybe we can tell you a little bit more. We try to have a concert every month, and we will take a vacation in January. We're not going to have one in January, it looks like. Um, Gordon McCann has graciously volunteered to do the introduction. Not much to say about it. Well, I think you're going to enjoy these two tonight. These are the type of people that Art and I get disgusted with. These young musicians that play 25 different instruments and do all this, and this is two that do the same thing. I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'll just really go down your life. Austin, Manhattan, Kansas. Graduated from NU, degree in forestry. Melissa's from St. Louis. They met at NU, then they both went to. Mountain View, where he worked with the State Forestry Service down there, and accidentally happened to play music down there. I don't know if there's any correlation between the two at all. There were any jobs in the country except right there. Right. And uh, they've been recently uh, took off from their occupation, uh, the paying occupation, to go starve a while, and they've been playing music in Louisiana, and Texas, and Kansas, and everything. And it's there here in Missouri tonight, then. So I think you'll enjoy it. Bob Melissa Atchison. Down in the Arkansas 
two presents and uh, it cost thirty dollars <laughs> and they weren't very I didn't think there was much to them actually it was a really good time for us though yeah. a lot bigger than Ben Franklin back in that yeah actually <laughs> Ben Franklin actually went out of business yeah. well we have a fiddle tune here that uh, is entitled Pig Ankle Rag and uh, it's one of my my favorite rags right now. It's, uh, I don't know that many. Actually, I, I know quite a few. I just can't play them. So I can kind of play this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
we'd like to do one learn from uh, Jim Lansford indirectly, or directly, I guess. But I did tape it, so. Um, Church of Christ hymns that we've worked up together. <laughs> I, guess, uh, <laughs> I guess all denominations can sing it. But it's kind of it's kind of blasphemy that we're using uh, banjo and guitar, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a good old song. <laughs> Thank you. 
tune we learned from uh, Cyril Stennett, he plays it, and also another fiddler named James Bryan, he calls it Steamboat Around the Bend, for all you fiddlers out there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sitting on a hickory rail, highway, highway, on. They soon made short work of him. Highway, highway, on. Just put him in a can and cook him sweet. Then he was fit for a king to eat. Possum gravy can't be beat. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
was uh, Cuffy. Remember that tune was Cuffy? That yeah, first one was Ken Left Side Road. No, but Albert E. Brumley was Ken. It was our Ken himself. And I'd like to play Walls now. It's called Kiss Me Now. And, uh,
interesting thing about this song is that it was, it was written before there, there were airships. <clears throat> Maybe even a battle balloon. We're not sure. <laughs> but uh, when you think about how far we've come in a short period of time, it's, it makes it a, a neat song. <laughs>
<laughs> with most people. Um, do you want to try Jimmy Sutton now? Is that what we should do? Okay. So, Jim called Jimmy Sutton. <laughs> Took my gun and I went hunting. Bang went the gun and down came the button. <laughs> Tell it 
meant to me, meet me at the door, won't you tell it to me? Well, uh, we'd like to thank you for having us this evening, and uh, this is going to be the last one.
just starting to pick up on. I did play James O'Brien and Steve Brown. Huh? <coughs> I know some. Yeah, I started stopping get my thought, well, I didn't know. I like Dixie Blossoms. I, I, mean, I, I like Dixie Blossoms. Dixie Blossoms. Yeah, all those. These twists are all out. Can't buy that for it. Yeah, she just had to move. Did you really? Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? I'm here later. Thank you, Jim. That's really good.
Play a good one here. Play me too. This is a catchy little tune. What's it called? Me too. And Jim Hawker. He's got to pull his teeth.
Lonnie got up north from Missouri. Yeah. I did. I can't. I haven't seen you since the library. I had a library party tonight. Oh, I can tell you. Knowledge is just coming out of it. I bet it was knowledge. I smell old books. Yeah, yeah, I 
can do that. Let Richard do that.
bunch of days. Is that the yeah. stuff on that? That's a good thing. G, and then I'm going to stand back to G.
Then we'll play, uh, that's why I want your back to the
Thank you. 
Son gave it to me. Or I'm the same as. What do you mean, same as? Well, I'll trade him out some stuff too. Kind of mutual stuff. He's about 80 now. Wow. And that was his mother's. He remembered when she played it. Big head. Yeah. Guy told me, I wrote to some guy in Chicago or something about it. We were trying to find out if it was really, it's not really an extremely valuable instrument. But he said if it had the smaller head, it'd have been worth more than that. Yeah. And it is with that big head. I wonder why. Could be more. Uh, I head. don't know. Now, I got that tune just like the bottom four strings of a guitar yeah. now. It's got a pick in it. It's more like it. I like the fingerboard. It's kind of curved. 
What kind is Lucicum? It says on the back, 
Slackered over that, you know. Slack <laughs> 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 her over it and polish it now and wax it. <laughs> the way you feel today.
Guitar and, uh, and the others, you know. How can you never play this guitar? Huh? Yeah, that's good. You've told me, but I've never seen you play it. Well, I play it down in the basement. I closet play it all the time. It, it, it just gives it has more volume to it. I play it hard. It just, I like to play it just finger picking, you know. So. Hey, Mona. Kim learned that from me. That's right. That song. I sent him a tape of that. That's, that's all that Irish. Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of good stuff on that, isn't there? Yeah, that's good. Uh, which, it's, uh, it's got uh, Mick Maloney and, uh, oh gosh, uh, O'Donnell on it. Uh, it oh, man, I just not make you a tape of that. It's loud. Yeah. Yeah. This is how I get done. crisp little sound to it, doesn't it? It's got a good yeah. Art and I were at the Arch in St. Louis, and there was a big old boy carrying that around, and it's 1943 is what it is. And I think it was 250 or something you want. Yeah. See, somebody beat it high up on the neck and had yeah. a belt on. Look at the back of it. They played yeah. it and sat down with a belt. And uh, the action was real high. I took it out to John Glenn. He lowered it, boy. It's, it's Trade your muscles. 
guitar for you. I've seen your monster guitar. Have you still got that? Which Every one? time, I, I don't know, the one that you didn't like, got a crack in it or something. Oh, no, I got rid of that you got one. got rid of that one. This is a regular one. It's plain looking. Well, it's not, it's much plainer than. Well, you want to play yeah, this is yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a wonderful guitar. You want to have it? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I should never have shown it to him. Look at that bird. Uh, that bird is oh, I'm sorry. It is. Oh, the way Gibson makes them. You're one of the big locks. I got the air. Well, I haven't seen that. 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 Go home and listen to your boy George records now. Have fun Oh, 
play your play your big anthem. I'm gonna have to learn some rags. He's sitting there with it, kind of holding the guitar. Of course, the head, the head isn't even on it, right? The head is way over like this. It's see? just a Mel Bay book, you know. He just pasted his head on the guitar, you know. He's finally pasted his head on there where Mel Bay's head was. You, know, you, you, pro you may have seen this guy. I don't know if you really know it, but he's, he's down in Mountain He's from, from uh, Batesville. He's the last of the hustlers. He's, he's a real hustler. He's a fiddler. But you talk about somebody that puts on an act constantly, always selling, always selling. Well, listen, it, I was telling, telling Bob this morning at, at the state contest a few years ago, he played and he got in the finals. They didn't know who he was, you know. I would believe that. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So anyway, when he finished, he still he went up, went through all this carrying on. You know how he goes back when he plays those waltzes. You know how he does. And when he was through, they were applauding him. 
and he held his arms up, you know, and he, both his sleeves were ripped out underneath there, you know. And then he went out into the audience, and while the next contestant was playing, he was going around selling these uh, records and stuff. They had to come run him out of the auditorium. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, are you Thank you. 
Started about the time he'd get going again, they would try to end, and it was, I, I, it was the funniest thing to see. But they, they didn't know where to end the thing. Sing and pick one on my little guitar there.
what's the name you've heard it by? I've heard about it. I've heard about another name, but I can't remember. What Got a little home to go to? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. Got a little home to go to. Yeah, I hope so. True ballad Minnesota, and they have continued the tradition where since Scandinavia, they've, you know, you've all 
found out of it. Good for the tongue, yeah. See, oh. Lonnie played all these B flat horn pipes. In fact, Lonnie's horn pipes are B flat. Did you ever hear it? It's a good one. I don't know what the name it was. It's called Lonnie. It's in Christmas in his first book, too. Uh, the one I like with a medley that they do. 
James Braun. Braun. Oh, uh, uh, it's our Russian. Yeah, it's yeah. our Russian. Man. That's an F, isn't it? Thank you. 
heard uh, that's a good tip. I've heard Hawaiian uh, steel players play that. Oh, and yeah. I, it's on the it's in that medley with Charlie Poole on that honeysuckle he plays. Honeysuckle. Oh, play. honeysuckle. But he ends yeah, that okay. with, ends honeysuckle with that, and they only call it honeysuckle. But I knew I heard that somewhere, and then I remembered when I was in Hawaii, I used to hear a lot of Hawaiian bands play that hmm. number. So I don't know. I good some little march, tune, yeah. some kind of march. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's Kohala March or something. But anyway, I knew I heard it somewhere. I, you know, Charlie Poole was doing it, so could have been anything. <laughs> uh huh? Yeah. Do you still sing uh, Moving Day? You used to sing that. Yeah, I heard it. I really like that song. That sounds good with your four string. Uh, sure would. Mary Wang over there. I'll let you Mary Wang it if you want. Yeah, I'll give it a Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often artists will let you borrow an instrument, but I'll let you You may have created a monster. I enjoyed playing that a while ago. <laughs> that right. I will have some alpha lads. Or something Mary Wayne. Yeah. Well, I'll keep my sweat socks for my wrist. I'll have to give Kim one of those. We have a we have a little sock we wear in the hot summer. Of a sock. Well, we, it's environmental type things, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah when their nose starts to run. Yeah, they would just yeah. go like that shirt. Sure. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a good song. Yeah. 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 Have you ever heard all guitar get sticky? Oh well. Yeah. Have you ever heard Charlie Poole play air No. No, you're kidding. It's in that you know, Life of Charlie Poole. You have a book, don't you? Uh, from the old time I have seen music that book. publications. Yeah. I've, I've got a lot of that music, but good grief, I didn't realize that's there. in there. Was that enough? You're yeah. kidding. No, I man, I wonder how that's he incredible. did it. That's incredible. I do too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Uncle Dave Macon singing Way to the Clouds yeah. Go by the same Kirk McGee. <laughs> 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 Take it away, Kim. Uh, you can do the Baltimore Fire too. That's a good one. Oh, oh, the Charlie Poole song.
Charlie Poole stuff, and they, they do it. I mean, they sound like the 78 yeah. when they do it, they're really good. They look like him. Really? Yeah, and they, this one guy sings with, out of the side of his mouth. So. <laughs> it's real funny. That sound, that band will sound good in there. That's a neat one. It really has a nice tone to it. Yeah. something on there, but it wasn't that. Right. No, that was the original. I think it was That's really funny about their articles when they described it. Some of the so story funny. goes that when Charlie was found dead, the physician said his heart was black from yeah. drinking. <laughs> so what did he do? He cut his head yeah. open and look at him? And and he said he was, his sister says, he was traced to move you around the front of your heart, kept pulling his tail and aggravating it, like, you know, Charlie, get in here. And, uh, <laughs> And then later on, she upstairs and apologized for yelling at him when he was dead. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting family. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Poole sounds like an interesting man. Acrobats on the stage. I would always, I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, I never, 
I've always been afraid of hurting myself. Well, let's see, he was so I perfect, it didn't matter. Yeah. I am lucky on a stranger. Oh, that's what that spell is saying. He did that so well. Can you do sweet sauce? No, but do you know Gypsy Gal? I think maybe I can get through that. about the 17th around there. Yeah. The third, the third I had to work that one. The, sec- the next week, so what do you know? I have off at eight. The second one is mostly We had a dulcimer contest the second week. The dulcimer crowd is not the same as the crowd downtown. Now, who's this guy you're talking about? Is this one from Dallas? No, this guy is from Fayetteville. Okay. He was there this year, wasn't he? Who was the guy from yeah, Dallas that was there this year? I don't know if you have seen this guy, though. Okay, why not? Because he got together with us after we were over the hotel and started playing. No, I didn't see him. And, uh, he was, he's a real interesting fellow. He plays classical banjo. Uh, and fiddle. Oh, we have these he is good. Very impressive. Ever since they've been sending the sheet music to uh, all these tunes, like uh, yeah. Carmen Possum, he sends us his minstrel song. The so yeah. I'm playing yeah. last Carmen week Carmen Possum is really good. Yeah. 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 And he sent us uh, all the Sweet Sunny Sounds all the way to Trump Music. I don't know if there's very many people on the first Thank you. 
back up to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like my minus one here so so singing harmony. <laughs> Let's try. Yeah, 
Have you ever played Arch Old Gibson? Yeah. You know, that, of course, that's quite a valuation. One time at Tahlequah, there were these brothers, the old clan from Fort Gibson came down. Two twins and uh, two other brothers and their whole families. They were all in their 60s or something. They were they owned probably all the area around Fort Gibson. One was the doctor and one was just a rancher. Uh, and they just yeah. went wild on land, you know, and they played wild. Well, one of them one night came and Bard picked up our handling and had it before Art knew what was happening. Art was playing. And sat over there just wham, 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 and hitting that thing so hard. I thought Art was going to fall out of that chair. It's a wonder he didn't bust the thing. His face, Art's face, sure showed some contortions while I had one. They just. I don't know, this is happening. Yeah, I think the mind rolled. Yeah, I think the mind rolled. Yeah, I think the mind rolled.
Whose version is that? Or you? That's that. Uh, uh, Carl. Uh, Carl Perkins. You got messed up, man. Uh, <laughs> What's his name? Uh, uh, Earl Collins. Earl oh Collins. yeah, it's on that record. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got that record. That's a good. He does a lot of good stuff mm-hmm. like that. He died before that record came out too. Did he? Just like this Huey did. They both died before their record. I'd like to hear that. I gotta get that Huey. Well, let me. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
How's the baby doing? Oh, okay, except for the heart murmur. And click. That's about all there is. <laughs> I used to, I did. The guy told me to do that, and I'm never bothered. Of course, then we got ready to get insurance, because we're word without, you know. <laughs> no, but that is the way to get off the phone. Just tell him he's got a heart murmur. That'll, boy, they'll get off like that. It's like I'm playing the chords. Uh, uh, uh. If I get the chords ready, you know. Uh, Simeon Magby. Simeon Magby. Yeah. Simeon 
Now he played a tune called The Arab Stomp. Do you play that? The Arab Stomp. Arab Stomp. Arab, Arab, Arab Bounce? Yeah, Arab Bounce. It's a, one of those. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like watching Cameron Bristow. Huh? I like watching Cameron Bristow. How's it going? Oh, that's nice. I think I don't know that either. I can do the rawhide if you want to. We can do. Oh, I 
when they sit here and stare at the floor, I think, gosh, there's no need for it, you know, when they're trying to think of sin. Their minds are all gone blank. The big spells is. Gordon, did you ever go somewhere? We were. I don't know where I got to go now. What time is it? We decided not to go, period. I mean, not because of you all. You know what? got there on 10 o'clock Saturday morning and left at 2.30 Sunday, and we played 18 hours. Art had a blood blister from playing his mandolin so much, and Raymond had a, he, he had his fiddle under his chin so long, he had to play for him. You could do that back then when they used to meet at the college, because we played in the dorm all night, and we used to quit about three, and every guys went on until daybreak, just like the Irish musicians, they went on until the Sunday.
think I've, yeah, I think I've taped you all over the Irish records I have. I sent you two or three tapes, didn't I? Or did I? Was that Black and Yeah. Yeah, well, I think, yeah. Those were kind of the first ones I'd heard, too, you know, when it got out. There's been a lot of, that's when it was first starting to get popular anyway. You know. Yeah. Thank you. 
you call that? What was his name? Oh, rich land woman. Oh, I love that style of guitar playing. Well, I'll I'll now become a great tenor banjo player anyway. Art and I are going to play nothing but rags now. You may you may see us on the on the tavern circuit here in New Orleans. No, they had to go to that meeting. He said they had a lot of things to do. You know, Gary, I listen to this one. I know who he is. I don't know him. These type of rags are really country rags, more or less. I'm talking about. They, they change them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Rhythm. Yeah.
Now you had that tune to a chord then, didn't you? I did you right right no, I mean you did. Yeah, that you did that was three. I might be able to handle something. That was in uh, straight E tuning. Well, uh, had some good music last night and today. Yeah. Uh, we get rid of that pool table down there where we had some room downstairs in the big area. Down there. Yeah, I'll go get some heat down there. We'll make heat down there. Nobody knows that that's when you're playing music. Oops, this thing's still.